Harry and Megan cursed badly for their delusions. What a savage letdown reality must be. It tells you everything about Harry and Megan's grand American delusion that they thought the Bidens would let them hitch a ride on Air Force One. Those of you who follow American politics probably know about Joe Biden's decades-long habit of scattering classified documents all up and down the East Coast. But we can say that his administration at least managed to keep one of the world's juiciest secrets for nearly an entire year. Last weekend, the Daily Mail exclusively reported that Harry and Meghan made a very bizarre request to the White House after attending the funeral for the late Queen Elizabeth. So the Bidens were in London to express their condolences, and what a better time to network, thought Meghan and Harry. Reportedly, the two of them asked Joe and the First Lady if they could hitch a ride on Air Force One to fly them all the way back home to the good old U.S. Oh yeah, Harry and Meghan had been excluded from a reception at Buckingham Palace, and there were even reports that some people in the crowds were booing them. And they were still public enemy number one in their home country after that tell-all Oprah interview, during which they accused the royal family of being racist and all kinds of other horrible stuff, too. I mean, neglecting a near-suicidal pregnant Megan was among the claims. But anyway, they figured everybody had forgotten about that. I mean, who were they kidding? Even the Biden White House was intelligent enough to dodge this bullet. According to sources, the White House immediately responded to their request and told them absolutely not. It was a, quote, non-starter. Now, if the president's staff had put him in that position, then they would have deserved to be fired on the spot. What a ridiculous demand. As if the president didn't have bigger things to worry about, such as America's relationship with its closest ally, for example. A source told the DailyMail.com it would have caused such a commotion. It would have strained relations with the palace and the new king. Well, yeah, that's an understatement. Only three months later, of course, Netflix aired their dull propaganda piece titled Harry and Meghan. The six-part alleged docuseries portrayed the royal family as collaborators in this racist and old system. And then a month later, Harry went after basically every single member of his family once again when his memoir Spare came out. So it's no wonder the White House didn't want to get involved with those two. And the fact that Meghan and Harry, for all their highly paid, politically connected advisors, one who used to work for Hillary Clinton and then another who used to work for Michelle Obama, did not understand this was a terrible idea tells us all we need to know about them. Seriously, what were they thinking? I mean, how delusional are they? It's not like Air Force One is a private jet that the Bidens like to use. It is the property of the American taxpayers. And it's a pretty big deal, actually. Some of the most important moments in the history of our country have happened in the aircrafts that carry the president of the U.S. On September 11th, for example, President Bush was rushed into the skies on Air Force One to start coordinating the country's response to that horrible terrorist attack. And then after President JFK was assassinated, his successor, Lyndon Johnson, was sworn in as president, with Jackie Kennedy there by his side on Air Force One. So essentially, you just don't ask to get a ride on the president's plane. I mean, who would ask such a ridiculous question? If you get invited, all right, you feel so lucky. Being a passenger is quite a privilege, and not many people get that privilege. It's typically reserved for elected officials or diplomats, and of course, the first family. Now, sometimes, in a show of national pride and respect, a person's casket might be transported, but even that is a very rare instance. And even in those situations, often Air Force Two is sent. But by all means, Harry and Meghan, sure, here's your peanuts for the flight. Enjoy it. Did they really think the White House was that dumb? As the Oprah interview made so obvious, the two of them had no problems about dishing all the dirt on private conversations when it was going to put some money in their pockets. And Meghan's political aspirations are no secret either. So wouldn't an eight-hour flight with the most powerful man in the U.S. be a very convenient launching pad for her next career move? Wouldn't it have been wonderful to plaster a big old photo of Meghan and Harry and the Bidens waving from the plane staircase on a campaign poster? It was clearly self-serving. And what exactly did they have to offer the Bidens? Well, as far as I can see, absolutely nothing as usual. It does explain a lot, though, doesn't it? It seemed like Harry and Meghan were convinced that the world owed them something. That if only people could see how remarkable, how talented, how brilliant, how mistreated they really were, then the crowds would lift them onto their shoulders and parade them up and down the streets. And I gotta admit, it did seem to be working out for them for a little while at least. Spotify and Netflix signed them up for $20 million and $100 million deals, 
And then everyone quickly caught on to what was happening. Instead of being cheered and embraced for stabbing their families in the back just to make some money, most people have abandoned them. Once upon a time, the mainstream media published favorable stuff about them, but now they are being criticized nonstop. And polls show that the public opinion of them on both sides of the Atlantic has really gone south. There was also one very interesting piece of information in this new report. The day after spilling the beans on Oprah, apparently Megan thought that she had won an ally in Jill Biden. Now, the first lady had worn an Oscar de la Renta dress with a lemon pattern to a State Department event, and that outfit was similar to something that Megan wore a month before. And according to Twitter, this was a subtle nod of support for Meghan Markle, and Meghan may have believed that too. Reportedly, she sent the first lady a basket of lemons to express her thanks. Oh yeah, Megan, so subtle, so low-key, because I guess it's their little secret they're sharing. Of all the headlines, of all the missteps, of all the scandals that Meghan and Harry have been involved in over the past few years, this one might be my favorite because it's just such a perfect example of everything that's wrong with them. Their plan to attack the royal family and run off to America to be rich and famous never made a bit of sense because it was incredibly irrational. And apparently rationality has never been their strong suit. They always believe that reality is just an obstacle they need to overcome. Another thing is, they can call a truce all they want to. The royal family is way too smart to fall for that nonsense. And between Queen Camilla and Princess Anne and Prince William, neither Meghan nor Harry will ever get close to the king. His majesty has also made it abundantly clear that Meghan and Harry are not welcome anymore. The palace even put it out that they were not invited to Trooping the Color before Meghan could lie and claim they were, but decided not to come. The royal family would also know all about Meghan and Harry and know that especially Meghan would be desperate for anything they could record and sell to Netflix. So that wouldn't do anything for them anyway. It's kind of like how they were ghosted at the Jubilee and they were kept far away from the real active royals. And I think Meghan Markle is way too scared to come back to the UK because she cannot stand being booed and that's exactly what would be waiting for her. It wouldn't matter where she went. She just keeps on using that same old tired excuse Oh, so-and-so doesn't want me there because they're scared I'm going to overshadow them for some reason nobody can see. And you, what do you think about this couple's delusional behavior? Please share your opinions with me and we can also discuss them. Remember to like and share this video with your friends and relatives who need it if you preferred it today. And don't be afraid to click the subscribe button to get more updates in the future. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a lovely weekend and we'll be back to see you all tomorrow.